So hi everybody. In this class, we will continue uh, with our application, uh, Notes application. So now we have some actions here. Uh, we can see, edit and delete. And now we will add an um, action to create notes. So uh, something that I, that I was thinking uh, about is uh, how we can uh, reuse the edit uh, page that we have to in the in the page to create a, a new node. Uh, <coughs> so I believe that what we have to do is something like this. Here we have the I don't know if you can see, but we have the edit. Uh, so let, let's enter. Um, here we have the page edit dash four what this do if you come here to the code in the file web we can see the rules so uh, this is a, a get we use a get a method to send us to the notes controller let's go to the notes controller uh, and <coughs> the method added this what is this does is to find the node that we we, pa we pass a, an ID and we try to, to find a node and send this node to the view. So what I, I think that we can do is to reuse the same uh, uh, template when we are creating um, a new node. So what you can have is a new method called a uh, new or add and here we, we will don't receive an ID because we are creating and we will don't do not pass um, a note because we don't have a note and another thing that I, I will change it's here that here we pass the ID uh, in the in the road in the save method because I, I believe that we can use the same save method to edit and create so uh, here I will get the ID from other place I will create an, a hide input in the template where I will put the ID uh, so if I came here in edit I will not pass the ID here I will pass the ID in a hidden input so here I will create an input input and that is a type it's hidden the name will be ID and the value will be the ID from of my note so I believe that this will keep you working. No, this is this isn't keeping working. I oh, I forgot to change the <coughs> the root file. So I, here I will remove the ID because I, I will don't use the ID in the root. So let's um, write something. I will write my name. Let's save. Not for if I can here. Okay, it works very good so now I will uh, change this edit uh, dot blade to form dot blade because I will use this to edit and to create a new node and let's change here um, the name to because I, I have now is form the our view so if I came here to code, continue works. <coughs> so now uh, something that I have. To, so let's add a button to send us to the uh, create. So first we have to. Uh, I I have created. Um, so. Uh, I have created something that I believe that we can use but 
AI change why how we will do this so I believe that we have another better way to do so here I will duplicate this line and replace this by an, an add without the without the parameter and the name of the root will be node.add and we this root will call um, the node controller and the method add uh, so now we can create a button here in the list that will send us to the page to create a new so here in that a, a new so let's put the road road this will this have to redirect us to notes not add and good if I come back here refresh a new button here let uh, okay let this here and let add some bootstrap class to make this a button a blue blue button okay I will put this enter inside the h3 not so beautiful but I want this in the same line okay now <coughs> if we click here what we will see it's an error because we don't have the nodes variable here so what we will do is when we use the node uh, we have to ask if this variable exists okay so I select every node usage and I look up and if set so <coughs> if this variable exists we will do this if it it did not exist so here we'll have to do one by one if it doesn't exist I will put nothing and then 50 in the ID so the better it will be a no in ID we receive a no if uh, I don't have the the note in the title I will put an empty string the same for the text and uh, here um, uh, in the options here what it can do is it is set is set and is that is set color set note and color so here if the first uh, condition fails and uh, the code will don't uh, check this condition so we will not uh, get an error so let's try I believe that this will work very good so uh, now we have to change our save uh, method in the controller because the save expect, expect an ID so what we'll do is check if um, I don't know if I can check if it uh, if has so let me see what we if I can check what what we ha have here has uh, very good I can check if it has the ID if it has the ID what we uh, want to do is to get oops is to get the ID from the database and we, we don't have the ID what I want to do is to create a new node okay new node let's try if this works let's refresh let's enter a title the node 5 some text and put the uh, danger submit we have an error um, save not found mm. 
what happened? Road save not dot save not dot save. I have no idea what happened. Mm. I really don't understand. So just wait a minute. I will come back. So I am back. Uh, now I understand that the problem. Uh, the problem is that uh, we check in the controller that if uh, we have the ID key and we have in the two pages uh, in the creation page we have the ID as no but we have it so what we have to do is if I set the node we will send the ID just if it's set if not we will don't do nothing so here and if okay let me remove this that I can I didn't need oh fuck okay <coughs> now this will work let me check manual danger submit okay and that's in the last page okay so we have the others all the stay uh, nodes here so if we come here map po submit i check here the last node i come here to edit it's correct <coughs> so very good so this class uh, was very good because uh, we can we we code uh, create uh, a page to create a new node where we don't have to uh, duplicate uh, many code so we uh, reuse the code of the edit page to create a pa uh, the, the edit page so by now uh, it's just this in this class uh, in the next class we will just uh, uh, refine uh, something we uh, something that I, I want to do is to add a menu to access the, the page uh, easier and maybe we, we can do another things too so thank you so much I will uh, put this application in github if you want to see how I did it if you have an error you can check in github how to use you can clone this application too to your computer and uh, run the application in your computer and see it work in testing you can change and everything so thank you by now i will see you later